everyone. In the fourth class this week, we are talking about space. And when we talk about the topic of space, there's lots of different things that fall underneath that. So we've talked about the sun, the moon, stars, astronauts, rockets, and our eight planets. So we're gonna do a little project today to help see the difference in sizes and colors about our planets. We are going to make sun catchers. I made one to start, which is the planet Earth, which is the planet that we live on. I used blue and green crayons um, and an iron, and I'm gonna show you all of that to make our sun catchers. So what you will need is some paper cups that we labeled with the names of the planets. You'll need an iron. The iron is just for your adult in your house to use with you. Uh, you'll also need wax paper, scissors, the Sharpie I use to label our cups, a sharpener for your crayons, and for the end of the project you'll need a hole puncher or something that you can punch a hole in the wax paper and some string to hang up your sun catchers in your window. So let's get started. Okay, so to get started you're going to want to line up all of your cups. You're going to want to label them with your Sharpie with all of the different planet names. I line these up in order of the planets from the sun. So I included the sun, which is a star, but again, I'd like us to see the order of the planets and how far they are from the sun. This is Earth, this is where we live, and this is the one, two, third planet from the sun. So let's get started with Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, and a fun little tidbit that my children taught me to remember the order of the planets is the first letter of the planets goes with my very educated mother just served us nachos. It's just a fun way to help you remember the order of the planets. The next thing you're going to want to do is look up your planet, Earth for example. You can look in a book, you can look online, you can have a grown-up help you maybe a big brother or sister, you want to pick the colors that best represent your planets. So for Earth, for example, I did blue and green because it's lots of land and mostly water. So you're going to pick out your crayons, add them into your cups, and the next step will be sharpening your crayons. So you want to remember to get your sharpener, get your crayon, and peel the top of the crayons in order to put the crayon shavings into each cup. So we're gonna get started with that for our next step. Okay, so Allie and I worked on all of our different planets and the sun, adding all of our different crayon shavings in there. You can see that. Here's Earth with our blue and green. And I'm gonna do a couple more quick twists, purple for Neptune, and then I tap it right into the cup. It does get a little messy. We worked a little bit on a towel. We worked on a piece of paper just to help keep all of the crayon shavings close together. And sometimes they get stuck to your fingers. So let me put this down. Another fun thing for this project is that all of your crayons get super duper sharp. Okay, so we've completed all of our crayon shavings, added them to all of our cups. The next step we're going to do is get our wax paper and you want a big long piece like this, and then we just folded it in half. And the next step that we will be doing is adding, this is the part that you need help with an adult because when you use an iron, it's super duper hot, and this is just for a grown up to use. But you can definitely watch as your crayons melt. So I'm going to get my wax paper ready. I'm going to get my first star, which is the sun, and put this one over here. We're gonna get this set up, heat up our iron, and we're going to start ironing our crayons. Okay, so now we're on the last step for making our sun catchers. Allie and I ironed all of our planets with all of the different colors. We then found different things around the house to trace different size circles. We use the top of a cup, we use the bottom of a cup, and I have my very last planet here of Neptune. I'm going to finish cutting it out for everybody. And then I'm going to use my hole puncher. A little hole in there. We used twine to hang our planets. I'm going to hang a little, tie a little knot at the top of it. 
And then I'd like to show you where we hung our planets. So it's pretty sunny right now, which is the point because I wanted you to be able to see the sun catcher. So I'm sorry if you can't see me as well. Um, but again, here are all of our planets and the sun. So again, we have our sun, we have Mercury, we have Venus, we have Earth, Mars, then we have Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And this is just a really fun experiment project to do with your kids. Uh, it teaches them about the order of the planets. It teaches them just you can feel the different textures. And then it really works on fine motor with cutting, tracing, and sharpening the crayons. So I hope you enjoyed this little project. Uh, just to mention that I got this from prekpages.com. Lots of great ideas on the internet to learn different, learn the planets a different way. I really enjoyed this one. Thanks everyone.